and today we're doing my review of my SIM NHT125. As you can see, I've had, uh, as you may know, rather, um, I've had Donkey for what two and a half years, and yeah, I have actually shook hands this week, and someone's coming to collect my little donkey today. And so this is my last ride and my experience of how my little sim's been. I'd come to the first park in the world to talk about my first bike. Well, after passing CBT here. So, right, let's get back to the bike. So as you can see, have a quick little walk around. So after two and a half years, I'll give you a quick little show of the condition. It's got a really nice, I quite like it. I've always liked the front. I've always thought it looked a really, really good bike. And this time a lot of people say tend to have quite bad condition. But I think uh, you can even see from here, the general condition of the bike is actually quite good. Um, well, I think it is. So, even coming inside, the only thing I would say is that it's a little bit starting there, but apart from that, I think overall it's been quite good. Um, I've ACF 50'd it twice a year. Um, goes to clean, so there's a little bit of paint coming off at the heel. Um, what else? Yeah, but oh look, check out Pudi's channel. And uh, Western Supermotor Vlog, excellent channels, subscribe. I'm sure you already are, but. And also in the rear as well, as you can see even from this. So I've done my best to keep the bike clean. And I think a lot of people just talk about the quality of the old Chinese 125s, but I think it's actually quite a, a good bike. It's been very, very good for me. Um, what upgrades have I done? Well, first the necessary heated grips and I have added onto hand guards. Those more astute among you may recognise them from the Himalayan or the Himalayan. And also a little frame which is non-standard as well as a necessary top box. When I've been travelling there has been a bag put on this side and on this side as well hence the tiny bit of rubbing there and a little bit there. But overall I think it's been a really really good bike for me. It has issues as some of you know. I think uh, at the beginning I did have um, with the throttle grip but I think that was a, a issue caused by the garage but over tightening of the throttle cable. That's my, uh, that's what I think happened. Um, it's not, it's a non, no one's ever, I've spoken to so many people in the forum so they've gone through so many not just in the UK but in the whole of Europe well, they're seldom, they're very, very popular in Greece, especially the 200cc model. Never, ever has anyone said that's happened to them. So I'll probably discount that and put it down to bad luck on my side, or rather perhaps the garage, who just didn't get the settings right. Um, the other issue I've had um, was with some of these falling out. But as soon as I locked tighted them, yeah, as soon as I had a couple of these falling out, as soon as I locked tighted them, um, no, never an issue again. Um, the little rubbers are starting to wear a little bit, on the feet but like I said most owners tend to take this rubber stuff off and leave it to that so I think overall the bike's been very very good um, it's been really good for me in two and a half years of ownership so let's go on the road we can discuss some more let's start off with the actual handlebars and the positioning of the bike for me it's a sit up and beg position as you can see from here, my arms are, let's look in the mirror, very, very comfortable. Forearms are almost straight. And also, then from my feet as well, flat footed at six foot, just six foot uh, and a bit. Just starts first time every time. So, in my experience, every single time I've started this bike, and of course, there have been plenty into first but like I said look there is a lot playing the throttle so you've got to take it then 
up to just a couple of thousand just to get yourself going. There you go. And so, oh, that was Mark. Hello, Mark from Raven Motorcycles in Derby. Seriously, that's where I studied. And yeah, so my handling brilliant I really like it it's quite light it's quite maneuverable it's well, at the same time it gets quite it's still quite stable at higher speeds even taking it on the motorway having it at 70 um, hasn't been so much a, of an issue for me um, it's still handled excellently it's got a 19 inch front 17 inch rear and it's been brilliant every single time I can't say I've had any problems with it or any issues with it handling's been spot on every single time so around town in the city really nice handling filtering dead easy compared to the Transalp um, even the bullet because they are slightly wider it, it's quite it's a lot taller so having that superior position where you actually, actually see over the cars does make a bit of difference so as you can see even like now no problem slowing down and oh, will go past petrol station so economy yeah, I've been getting uh, 80, 90 miles to the gallon. Um, it's been doing really, really well. From the 100 miles, um, I would normally put in about 5 litres. Um, or some, somewhere around there. And so from the 11 litres, I'd probably say you're getting the best part of 200. Uh, but again, it matters how you ride it. So with the gearing, as you might have seen, um, there's actually steps to it and that's uh, another little thing I found with this. Uh, first and second are reasonably close together and so when you're going there's a nice natural progression. So you can be uh, like you just saw now in second near 8000 revs and as soon as you knock into third it drops down to five. So there's uh, quite, a, quite a gap there. I found the first and second are quite close together and there's a gap and then the uh, third and fourth are quite close together then there's a gap again and then this fifth so for my experience of taking this down to land's end was the um, was that progression between the fourth and fifth gear this uh, can do the motorway yeah i've done it um, so there's no question that it can't. Um, it can do the motorways. Um, but the question is, um, how good is it? No, it's not ideal. It's a 125, it's a 10 horsepower bike. Um, well, as I was joking at the time, I'm sure you'll see at some point in my little video. So you can see the difference there. Right, now national speed, let's get it some speed so that you see it. It's, Let's get it up. 50, 9,000, 8,000 revs. As you can see, then it was uh, it got into fourth, and it just took me down to 7,000 revs. And there are 8,000 revs again, so you can see it goes from 9,000 down to about six and a half. So there's a bit that, that little gap, especially when you're wanting to sort of climb a hill or you're going over a certain distance. Um, that's the one that doesn't tend to do so well and so one of the things to keep in mind with i think for this bike as a do everything a little bit that fifth works as an overdrive what's the base acceleration like let's have a little look we're just coming in here how nippy is it we'll uh, do a little extra ride here Well, we're in a national speed limit until that light, so there you go. So that gives you some idea of the speed. It's uh, it's all right. It's quite good. 
But um, what are my final thoughts? Let's do top five best and top five worst. Um, my favourite things about it is the physical size. Um, I think it's really good. The seat's quite comfortable, number two. Um, I do like the brakes. They're brilliant. Um, and even the manoeuvrability, four. Um, and I think the star of everything is actually the engine. Um, it's quite the goer. Um, it gets on. Um, it's actually a Honda engine. Sim do make Honda engines in Taiwan. So it's a Honda drive engine, single. And it's been fantastic. It's really g g done everything I've wanted. Um, I've not had a single click We're wrong with the engine. So I think that's the best part. Um, the worst five, I think it's uh, probably say, not, I wouldn't say it's particularly bad for niggling, but I need to make a list. That. I think there's so much free play there. That constantly annoys me. So you do have to like take it up to a certain point before you, it does engage. Turn that off. Um, what else? Um, it's probably say it is that. That comes to mind straight away. And it's going to be the um, gear. I've had fair, it's been hit, a bit hit and miss. Um, some days it's brilliant. And I think uh, if I'm, I'm niggling, like I said, it's not a major thing. But if I'm niggling, I think it's the, um, the actual build quality then, number three. Um, especially with some of the issues I've had here. But to be honest, as soon as I've put them in, I've not had anything wrong with it at all. So that's been number three. I think I've been really, really happy with it. Um, four, I would say it's actually going to be something about the accessories. That's the only accessory you can actually buy for it. You can't get any crash bars, nothing else. Um, and not even any handlebars. And these, I've, these were taken from a, a, another bike. So I'll probably say that, um, and then uh, probably from niggling again. Um, but there's no nothing taller, nothing to protect you from the actual screens. So you have this, um, but it doesn't really keep all the wind and everything off you. Um, and then if I'm final thing, I do really like the mirrors. But the thing that annoys me is that actually the little connection of balls here, and um, they do tend to shake loose, and you do have to correct them uh, quite regularly. Not regularly, but um, here and there, especially when you're going through some wind. But overall, like I said, uh, there's not really anything major. I, I, would, I would buy the same bike again. Um, I've been super happy with it. I don't think um, um, it was the right bike for me. And even looking back, I don't think I could have even made a better purchase. And so, yeah, it's been spot on. But... Uh, just want to say thank you to Little Donkey. Uh, you've been amazing, and I don't think I could have asked for a better partner, a better friend in, in all this time. And yeah, you're really going to be missed. Wish you best wherever you go. But you take care of yourself. Look after your new owner. Take care, ride safe, and stay curious, Donkey. Goodbye. How was that? I'm a pioneer, but it's a bit rusty. <laughs> Somewhere in Derbyshire, it's coming in. <laughs> there you go, and in this field particular. <laughs>